who are three of your musical influences? Feel free to name. Already. I'm so I, I, I know you've mentioned you're your old school. Like I'm saying, like, like uh, learn, l- l- learning the craft of music in school. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you can name three male, three female. Jill Scott, India Ali. Um, what have people said I kind of sound like? India is the most common one. I remember even, I'm not name dropping, but it was nice. School had an opportunity for me to interview her. And someone was like, you guys even look kind of alike. I said, ah, <laughs> this is like full circle for me. Before, and I told her. Um, and then even uh, maybe power ballad singers. So I listened to a lot of Anita. Um, I, that one of my favorite songs is You're All I Need to Get By um, by her. And Bridge Over Travel on Water. And it was originally by Kina Simon and Gafako. Also have a song called Bleaker Street. So uh also there's someone there's a guitarist let me see if i can pull him up right now my sister used to play him a lot um and he has a song called so some i love a lot of instrumental music mm-hmm. ah his name is andy maki and it helps me think about melodies differently um even richard bona even Kira papa Wimba, and my mom loved papa Wimba, jonathan butler oh he had a song called The River that I think I know by heart because of my mother. And Susanna Weo even, uh, one of my favorite songs, which I don't even think is, it was like a bonus track. And it was called Ulongo. And I think it was a song about people who are like, um, uh, how do I say, uh, juggernauts in the Luo tribe at the time, uh, over time. And it was so beautiful because the progression was so... Ugh, I really liked it, and yeah, so those are some of the people, guys, wow, that's it, that's MJ, of course, um, who else, I liked R. Kelly's writing style, um, what is his writing style, just the choral arrangements he'd do for most of his songs, if you think about Gotham City, or even Happy People, even if it's just him, or he had such Really powerful choral arrangements. Cut back lane. Ah, oh, please. Don't even get me started on it. The minute I start saying, for those of you who are, who think gospel music is dead, I'm yeah. to, you see, <laughs> that's dun, how you dun, know. Dun, dun. Exactly. Dun, um, dun, dun. And even his arrangements for his music. He's a, actually an incredible choral director and composer, um, and knows how to pick people. Like just so many artists that are there presently. Kina BBC. Why not? My sister used to take six. Oh, please. Immediately takes it immediately, yes. So, I'm not present day, Jacob Kogi. I like her. I like, um, what have I been listening to recently? Let me just pull it up here. Yes, so um, three three of the artists you've been listening to recently. <laughs> um, well, lately, I've been listening to Tina Hathaway again, her album, honestly. Um, who have I liked? Oh, Devin Morrison. There's a song called Yams with Masego, but he has an even greater album. Um, Which just, is? Uh, his album is called. Hold on one second. Hold on, I'm gonna find it just now. <laughs> it's called Bussin. Um, I was also listening to. Oh, Moon Child has a great EP out, and they have songs with Alex Isley. Love her. Mm. Um, I was listening to Johnny Drill. Oh yeah, yeah, great guy. Wow. Also listening to Prince. So yeah, yeah. yeah. so wow. Yeah. Okay, 